we're sitting at a cafe and waiting for our breakfast. We were supposed to go up and uh, hike at 8 a.m. But it's, what time is it now? 11.30. And uh, we overslept like we always do. So uh, what are you doing now, Emma? I'm just answering some work emails and looking up our next move to Madrid and seeing the best way to get there, whether it's train, bus, or renting a car. Um, and what are we gonna do? I think we might take a bus just because you can work on your laptop instead of yeah. having to drive the whole time. It's a six hour drive from San Sebastian to Madrid. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out after the hike. Yeah. Cheers to our second day in Madrid. Cheers. Uh, San Sebastian. San Sebastian. Eating that looks delicious. I'm eating like a special ham with uh, a baguette and a ham and potato tortilla. Um, what's it called? Omelette. Wow, that looks delicious. We just finished our breakfast and we're about to hike over to the neighboring town of San Juan and apparently they have the best seafood in all of Spain. The hike's gonna take about an hour and a half and it's up over this mountain you can see in the distance. So we'll do some more vlogging once we get up there. Yesterday we were at the beach called La Concha, which is kind of the resort touristy beach, but right here is the surf beach. And this beach reminds me a lot of Bondi Beach in Australia. Same sort of, uh, same sort of vibe going on. And that mountain up there is where we're hiking to. The thing I've noticed about Spain is that there's basketball courts everywhere and Everyone plays basketball, which is pretty cool. These guys hit it. All the beer and all the tapas and bread. One and two. We made it to the top of the mountain and uh, the view is absolutely stunning. Check it out. That's all St. Sebastian. That's the Christ statue over there. That next bay over is the beach we were at yesterday. And this right down in the foreground is a surfing beach. It's really an incredible city. I know I've said this a couple times already, but this town is just made for walking and biking. You have these really cool walking paths that intersect the city and cars rarely drive down them. Uh, it's just, the way the city was designed is awesome. Look, everyone's on a bike. Really a walking friendly city. I've noticed about Europe in the summer is it seems like every weekend is some sort of fiesta or celebration or festival. Uh, there's markets set up everywhere. People are out about walking. It's awesome. Mm. What's that? Some cheese. Wow. It's all so good. What are we doing, Julia? We're tanning at the North Beach, at the Surfing Beach, uh, which is a little bit windier, but it's nice because it's really warm today. And we're drinking some Estrella.
wrapped up our last beach sesh at uh, San Sebastian. We're leaving tomorrow for Madrid. I'm actually kind of sad that we didn't book more days here. This is, I have a feeling this might be the highlight of the trip. I love San Sebastian. It is, it's a European city right on the beach. It's got surfing, it's got beautiful sand, warm water. I, it's amazing. Yeah, I love the city. But we have a lot of more days. We have a lot fun, more days. Yeah. Fun more days too. A lot of people were telling me that San Sebastian was awesome and regardless, we only booked two days here. I honestly think we could do a whole week here, but um, we'll be back because San Sebastian is definitely one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. Okay, now we're gonna hike up to the top of the Christ statue and get some cool drone shots. There's a really good overview of the city up there. Good overlook of the city. Look who I just ran into. Wow. Statue, and we're at this tapas bar, or peak studs as they're called in Basque Country, and the selection is amazing. What's really cool is that they have these ham legs sitting above the bar. We just finished eating peak stoves, and now we're walking to get a cheesecake at a place called La Viña. It's apparently the best cheesecake in Spain, and I know I've said this a hundred times, but I'm still blown away by how light it is all the time. Here it is at 9.30 at night. The, uh, La Bona Vigna, which is a popular place for eating a cheesecake. They're apparently very famous for their cheesecakes, so we're gonna go in and try. I'm um, very excited. How do you say cheesecake in Spanish? Uh, queso uh, torta? Torta de queso. Torta de queso. Let's go. Three, uh, three cheesecakes. Tres. Yeah. Tres. And three glasses of wine. Red wine. Vino blanco. Yeah. Uh, vino rojo. 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 Yeah. So this is the cheesecake, we'll see what it's all about. How is it? Good? Is it worth the hype? Is it worth the hype? It was good. It wasn't the, the best I've ever had, but... We're gonna go home. We just had the cheesecake, which was... I thought it was okay, it was good, but it wasn't amazing. But you and your mom liked it a lot, so you should all go check it out. It's called La Vigna in, uh, in San Sebastian. Uh, so now we're gonna go to the hotel and get some sleep, because tomorrow at 8.30 we, um, we're going to Madrid. Yay! All right, we're headed back to the hotel in San Sebastian. 
Just wanted to say one more time how beautiful the city is. Show the last sunset at 10:15 p.m. no less. 